What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex G. Watching the Rage and Roll Review. Got a review for you. Last night I saw American Hustle. It's the latest film from director David O. Russell. And David O. Russell directed Silver Linings Playbook, The Fighter, Three Kings. So a lot of really quality films there. And American Hustle is no different. We got an all-star cast here. And David O. Russell is someone that really knows how to tell a really great contemporary story and it's all with the use of great acting and great direction and just just some really really elaborate storytelling I mean American Hustle is all about I guess a uh, uh, hustling in America <laughs> just trying to get by however you can making ends meet not really making making end meets ends meet but but just just really getting ahead by hustling, by cheating people, by conning people. But the thing is that with every single one of these cast members, you don't know who's conning who. And I kind of like that idea of that because it really keeps us guessing. Of course, a lot of our characters here get into a sticky situation with each other and with third parties, and that's where all the craziness happens. But I'm not gonna go too much into the story. All I gotta tell you is that there's a lot of characters here and a lot of well-written well characters who are just trying to get on top of each other and <laughs> literally but um, what what this really comes down to in terms of making this a really great film is David O. Russell's direction this guy knows how to get the best performance out of his actors because I saw some really great performances in fact I saw a lot of unlikely characters that I was gonna root for, that I'm will, that I turned out ended, ending up rooting for, and a lot, and some other unlikely characters that I ended up rooting for, but they ended up being the one that I didn't want to root for in the end of it, all of this. So it's really uh, quite unpredictable, and that makes for some really great, well written characters. There's a lot of really great writing in this movie. I mean, there's some very memorable performances because of the screenplay and, of course, the performances. <laughs> You got an all-star cast here. Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Lawrence, Christian Bale, Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, Robert De Niro, and holy cow, it's such an explosive cast. And when I saw the trailer for this movie, I was just thinking, okay, this got Oscar written all over it. So I had to check the movie out, and I wasn't wrong about this movie because performances are great. I love the chemistry between everybody, and it's just so believable a lot of these characters are so so believable in in terms of all their dialogue delivery and just their performances and and they David O. Russell even makes it funny so even though this is a movie which is just all all, all driven by acting and characters he manages to keep it funny and fresh and very unpredictable and I think it's a great movie a great story all right and, and there you have it. Uh, oh, I, I gotta mention that I felt that the soundtrack was perfect for this movie. Love the soundtrack. Uh, uh, I love the cinematography. And I love the entire look of the film. They really captured that the, the, the essence of that time. You know, the time where, where I, guess, I guess it was the 70s. And we're talking about bell bottoms and hairy chests and a lot of gold chains. Disco. <laughs> he really, really captured that. And... I think that the, the tone of it was perfect. Now, I gotta mention that it, it had um it, it captured my attention right from the very beginning, but it kinda lost me somewhere just a little bit. And uh, I was kind of confused at the time at, at 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 a at a moment and not quite sure what was going on. But later on it progressively got more and more and more and more engaging till I just felt like okay, this is quite an amazing payoff. So I'm really satisfied with this movie. I'm gonna give this movie a nine out of 10. I, I felt like there's a lot of inspiration from, from the master himself, Martin Scorsese. And there's just little subtle touches of, uh, touches of Scorsese's style in this. I felt that David O. Russell, you know, dealing with this type of subject matter, he's gotta get some inspiration from the man himself, Martin Scorsese. Uh, but at the end of all this, this is David O. Russell's picture. And I think that he's gonna, he's gonna go home with an Oscar. Somebody's gonna go home with an Oscar from this movie. Movie, okay whether it's Jennifer Lawrence or whether it's Christian Bale or or, or or Bradley Cooper Amy Adams oh speaking of which they were perfect for the part they were absolutely perfect especially Amy Adams and especially uh, uh, um, Jennifer Lawrence man 
She is probably one of my favorite characters in this movie, okay? <laughs> there you have it, 9 out of 10. I highly recommend it if you're into this type of movie. Uh, it's not an action movie, okay? It, this is all completely dialogue and character driven. And then it's all acting. Okay, you're watching these guys at the best of their craft, and it, it's an art, and they got it down. So there you have it, 9 out of 10, and uh, let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about the movie, and there you have it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation, also follow me on Twitter, at Rage Nation. My name is Alex, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, peace. Possibly be, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, a well-rounded story. So, unfortunately, all her scenes were cut, but that doesn't mean that she's not going to show up in the Blu-ray or DVD.